हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सॉलिड ग्राउंड क्यूरिंग रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग प्रोसेस सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स सॉलिड ग्राउंड क्यूरिंग प्रोसेस इज अ फोटो पॉलीमर बेस्ड थ्री प्रिंटिंग प्रोसेस हियर वी यूज हाई पावर्ड यू वी लैम्प थ्रू अ मास्क ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ फर्स्ट लेट्स सी द important components of solid ground curing process here friends it is uv lamp then glass mask then mask generation system okay here it is base okay here it is vacuum here it is wax cooling plate okay now here it is milling cutter and uh, here it is now final product okay friends in every rapid prototyping system or process these three processes are common okay which are first is creation of the 3d model of our part which we want to produce or generate next step is pre processing which includes stl file generation part orientation support generation checking of stl files transmission of stl files slicing of stl model next is the real part building process starts with transfer of slice file format data to rapid prototyping machine by system computer okay here friends now this mask generation system generates mask here friends there is a glass which is sprayed by with the photo polymer resin as you can see here and uh, this uh, mass generation system generates uh, a glass mask as you can see here this this one here as you can see in this diagram this is the mask okay here it is this is the layer as you can see this one this white portion is our uh, part layer okay as you can see this one is here also in this diagram see here friends this is our final product that is a square in this case so see this is our square square and this square is divided into number of slices or layers as you can see and here this is suppose this is one this is one this is this product is formed or produced layer by layer this first layer is this then this is second layer then this is third this is fourth and so on okay and this shape is here as you can see this white portion and here also this white portion top portion okay and uh, see here this is another layer the, as you can see this is partially generated part okay and this is wax here as it acts as a support and above this there is we spray or apply liquid photo polymer resin layer okay this is equal to one layer thickness as you can see that is this much okay this is thickness one layer thickness we apply liquid photo polymer resin as per that okay and now after that this process we um, keep our glass mask above it as you can see this is our glass mask which is above the liquid photo polymer resin layer okay and this is our layer or you can say this is our shape which we want to sh shape which we want to produce here in this layer okay and after um, keeping the glass mask above it we apply or start uv lamp as you can see here and this rays uv lamp uv rays goes on this and this is this uh, liquid photo polymer resin gets cured or solidifies 
this portion will get cured here in this case okay and see here friends after applying the or uh, applying uv lamp uv rays on this uh, you will see here cured part as you can see here this is our cured part we after that we after applying the uv lamp or uv rays we remove the glass mask and you can see here this is our cured part okay and that is solidified part and this here it is this is our remaining uncured photopolymer resin as you can see here and see here friends now we need to remove this remaining uncured photopolymer resin and for that that purpose we will use here vacuum by vacuuming the vacuuming this uh, remaining uncured photopolymer resin we will remove this uh, uncured resin and we can reuse it okay here next is friends uh, here as you can see after removing the uncured photopolymer resin uh, here we, there is a cavity as you can see here and uh, here it is our cured part and uh, this cured part again exposed to uv lamp or you can say we again apply uv rays on this cured part for uh, harden it okay or you can say to solidify remnants okay now next is friends the next step is here you can see here it is after that after applying the uv rays uh, to uh, up, uh, solidify remnants we apply a new layer of wax in the cavity okay and here we use wax cooling plate to cool the wax next is here we use milling cutter to lay to level the surface okay here friends as you can see here this is an un uneven part and here it is even part that is leveled part milling cutter is used to level the surface to make it uh, smooth and uh, you can say uh, at same level uh, here friends wax acts as support for new layer resin new liquid resin layer and part generation okay now here friends uh, when we use milling cutter there is a formation of wax chips uh, which need to collect so here we use vacuum vacuum to uh, remove the or collect the chips as you can see in this diagram here friends see here now this fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth process we repeat again and again for formation of each layer that is layer by layer formation this is first layer then second layer then third fourth and so on for each layer we repeat this whole process and after completely forming the final product uh, we remove the wax uh, and this is our here final product as you can see here friends uh, this is our farm final product uh, okay so here friends in this video we have seen solid ground curing process thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you